So for us to remind ourselves of the succession of species, we're going to be harvesting the cowpea, these beans, which are coming up with the pods now, and corn. This is going to be our, our first harvest in about 75 to 90 days. We're already 60 days in, and so in about 15 to 30 days, we're going to be harvesting everything. And in another seven to eight or nine months, we're going to be harvesting our cassava, and then we're going to have the coffee as our legacy. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. Hello, hello everyone. So I'm here to give you another update on the system that we planted in the course. As you can see here, the corn is already amazing, right? It's got the, we call these dolls in Portuguese, we call these are the dolls of the corn, right? They're showing up and um, you can see they're nice and pretty. Some corns have two up to three, um, what should we call it? Or cop. Each corn has, um, some have two up to three corn cobs showing up. And this is the coffee system. If you remember well how we have planted the coffee system. As you can see here, we've got the coffee here in between. And we have corn, cowpea coming up, right? It's a type of beans that we planted. And we've got cassava right here in the middle. If you care to take a look. The cassava is showing up, as you can see. So for us to remind ourselves of the succession of species, we're going to be harvesting the cowpea, these beans, which are coming up with the pods now, and corn. This is going to be our, our first harvest in about 75 to 90 days. We're already 60 days in, and so in about... 15 to 30 days we're going to be harvesting everything and in another seven to eight or nine months we're going to be harvesting our cassava and then we're going to have the coffee as our legacy so everything is nice and pretty the corn is going to leave an amazing amount of organic matter for the cassava and the coffee so if you take a look from back you can really see the amount of organic matter that we're going to get by planting corn in such a dense manner. So come here with me. Take a look at the banana trees, which are already one meter twenty high, or something like that. Um, really beautiful, shooting up new leaves. And come to take a look at the tomato plants. If you remember properly, we had planted tomatoes with turnip the turnip gave us a nice mat of covering on the soil for the first few weeks and now the tomato has already gone wild all around and we have our first tomatoes to harvest right here in the middle like we mentioned we don't train tomatoes here we prefer to leave them like this although it might produce slightly less it makes up for all the organic matter that it produces <coughs> sorry and for the amount of work that it saves I'm gonna eat one come here we've got our broccoli coming up as well it's almost ready to harvest coriander all around Coriander already being harvested. Soon it's going to be flowering. And one thing about coriander is that you can use the leaves, but what I really prefer to use in the kitchen are the seeds. The seeds mashed up with a bit of salt and garlic is just an amazing seasoning for frying fish. 
beets ready to harvest as well. We could leave them here for them to grow a bit bigger, but they're, they're good to harvest. And then once we harvest all the coriander and the beets, we've got our leeks, which are going to stay here for another few months before really getting into a nice and beautiful head. And remember properly we had lettuce and radish with our carrots and now we've got only the carrots left. You can see that it's already taken up the whole of the bed. Let's take a look at what one of these is. It's not ready to harvest yet but we want to see if it's a nice carrot. It sounds like it because it's a bit hard to push. It should probably be pretty deep. This is just grass. Let me try another one. It's developing into a nice little carrot. Right? Another 30 days and it's going to be pretty nice and long and thick and sweet. Delicious. Sweet as honey. Mmm, amazing. Mmm. I hope you can feel the taste in your mouth and take the opportunity. You can nice. feel the deliciousness with us. Take a look at the sweet potato here on the other side of the tree bed. It's really just colonizing the whole place. It's difficult to walk in here since it's so dense. You can see sweet potatoes as an amazing plant. Look at the ground covering that it produced. Um, the amount of photosynthesis that is made from it and how it eliminates completely most of the weeds. The only things that manage to show up is this Amaranthus species, which is edible as well, so I don't mind it. I can eat it. And I can give it to my chicken or whatever it is. And you can see the cassava popping up here to occupy the high strata and the yams which are going to occupy the low strata but for a longer period of time than the sweet potato. So, hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're really enthusiastic about seeing this with us and, and being part of this. And show us pictures. You know, we're giving you our update on this system but we want to see your update as well on how your systems are developing. This is meant to be an exchange, so I'm really eager to see that, and I'll catch you later. Um, make sure you drop a comment below, and uh, leave us feedbacks and questions, and photos of your own experience in our Facebook group. Let's discuss it, let's talk about it. And this is Agroforest Academy. Agroforest Academy, please sign up.